Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. In this video, I'll be answering the following question from one of our viewers. Does a master's degree help me to take the PE exam quicker? This video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exam since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and the passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. All right, so like I always promise, if you leave comments below our videos, we will answer your question. And today's question is a good one. Does a master's degree help me to take the PE exam quicker? The answer is possibly. So let me explain this. Each state in the United States has their own process or their own requirements for you being able to sit for the PE exam and what they allow. So what you need to do is whatever state that you practice in or whatever state that you're seeking your license in, you need to reach out to them or consult their guidelines on the state education website looking for graduate education or graduate certif certification and how it might help you. In many states, a master's degree in engineering can get you one year shaved off of your experience requirement. And again, you have to check for your state. We actually did a previous video that was pretty lengthy on this. So I will link to that video in the comments here, but some people didn't weren't able to understand it. So I'm just trying to clarify here and answer the question. Essentially, for example, in New York, where I received my license, they accepted my graduate degree. I have a graduate degree in civil engineering and MS. They took one year off of the four years of required engineering experience. So I only needed three years of experience plus my master's degree. So in a lot of states, it can help you to take the exam quicker, but not all of the states. So I would just ask you to be really clear on that and check your website and call the state education department if you need to, or better yet, if you can email them and get a written response, that could be something that you could attach to your PE exam application just to be sure and to let people know that you've gotten that confirmation. Now, one other thing I'm going to mention here that wasn't part of the question, but it was part of my experience as an engineer. Some states will also accept internship experience to shave off the experience requirements and get you to the exam quicker. This is also something that I did. I worked all throughout college. I had a three-month internship every summer, and I added that experience up, and I submitted it as part of my application. And while they didn't directly say that they accepted it, if they didn't accept it, I wouldn't have had enough time. So I'm confident that they did accept some of it. And again, that may be vary by state to state, but that's also something that you can look for if you're trying to take the exam quicker than the four years requirement or whatever the requirement is in your state. You may be able to utilize a master's degree. You may also be able to utilize internship experience. Now, one thing that I will say for you is that I wouldn't go and get a master's degree, of course, just to help me take the PE exam quicker, right? I don't think that's necessarily, you know, time or money well spent. However, what I will say is, depending on the discipline you're in, some companies really look for the master's degree. For example, I know in structural engineering, a lot of companies really, really look for, and maybe in some cases require a master's degree for you to advance in that field. So if you're contemplating a master's degree, a benefit of it may be that it shaves one year off your PE exam experience, but there may be other benefits of it related to the specific discipline that you're in. So I hope you found today's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will publish weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. 
And please, just like our viewer from today, ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will read them and respond to you. Maybe there's a specific topic you need help with or a question you need answered, pass the PE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week.